Hey guys, it's Domestic Chris here with another episode of Mickey Money Monday. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about how I used my garage sale to make a whole bunch of money. <laughs> okay, so I held a garage sale at my house over the last two weekends, and I want to compare and contrast for you um, the kind of advertising I used. Uh, it was different each week and what I ended up making. So two weeks ago, my um, cousin and I put together a yard sale. We had been pulling things aside. I know myself, especially for months and we set it all up. Awesome. And, um, I have a picture for that for you guys at the front and we put the yard sale together. We ran an ad in the paper that cost, um, $34 and 50 cents to run for two days. And they gave us some like signage and supplies little signs that say like garage sale with an arrow pointing this way just one and some price stickers and some tips then um we put up that small sign and two others very similar to it along our road and we had the sale on friday and saturday i um have a total weekend count for that first weekend of 257 dollars uh, for myself my cousin made I think about a hundred dollars if I remember correctly. Um, and that is after we, um, paid back the 34 50, we split it 17 25 each, uh, $13 of that for me personally was change. And all of that went into my, um, piggy bank to go towards the Disney and I had $257 in cash. Friday was by far the bigger day. I believe we made like $75 combined on Saturday. The weather played a part in that. And so that's why we decided to have the yard sale again, just this past weekend. So for that sale, we did not advertise in the paper. Instead, we decided to just use some different signage. We went to the Dollar Tree and bought great big um, neon paper, some green, some pink, and we got um, the permanent markers from there that were not Sharpie, but they were excellent. Like it ended up raining on Saturday and when I went to collect our signs, they hadn't run, not one bit. They still looked really nice. But what I'll say about those signs, um, well, let me talk about, so Friday sales, I made um, $188, seven of which was in change that went straight to my um, bank, my piggy bank, and my cousin made about $50, I believe. And we actually got some residual customers from somebody else's advertisement in the paper. We live kind of out in the country and they thought they were going to a different yard sale and ended up at ours. And that happened four times for sure, at least. So um, I do think that advertising in the paper is very beneficial. And I had done that last year. Um, people came up to me last year and this year, oh, you have the Blu-ray player. Oh, you used to homeschool. Oh, whatever. Um, so However, I'd advertise that people were looking for those things. I also put the advertisement on Facebook. Uh, I didn't, I haven't, where I live is uh, easy enough that I don't have to actually list my address on the county roads. I can list in your intersection and people can find me pretty well. That's how I um, do it on the Facebook pages because I don't want my address associated with me <laughs> on that kind of forum. Anyhow, um, people would say, oh, I saw your picture. You had toddler beds or I'm looking for girls clothes, whatever. And so we found um, that those things were very helpful. So in the future, for another yard sale, I would definitely, again, have it in the paper. I would use the um, fluorescent signage, but a lady who stopped by said that she used, um, like, old political signs. She bought several from someone at a yard sale, and bless her sweetheart, she came and brought me, like, four or five of them and some... Um, more fluorescent paper and she showed me how she duct taped it on the side and how they would saran wrap them like she was super sweet so in the future i will advertise in the paper i will use the big fluorescent signage on the stakes because when i put them on the um electric poles they just kind of crumpled and wadded in with the wind and stuff um we ended up canceling the sale on saturday of this past week because um a couple days ago because the weather just wasn't holding up very well. And that was okay, you know, it wasn't in the paper. People weren't counting on having us having the sale. So I just went and took down the signs and just chalked it up for, I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough of the sale. So anyhow, um, our total 
profit from the sale personally. My total personal profits were um, $458, 20 of which was changed that went straight into my piggy bank. So I had $438 cash. Well, my uh, Meyer grocery store this week was having a deal that if you purchased, um, they had two import coupons, one for $10 off a $100 Visa gift card and one for $10 off a $100 MasterCard gift card. So what I did was I used my husband and I's accounts and I purchased $400 in gift cards. $100 for $95.95 because there is a $5.95 activation fee but even excluding that, that was a $4.05, you know, profit. That's a 4% savings on these $100. So um, I ended up with another $54.20 cash after purchasing that. And so $454, so I made $16.20 extra just for exchanging my cash for gift cards. Um, this money is not currently being added to the Disney fund because... Um, Part of some of the things I sold was I, I wanted to replace something else. Like I sold our, our old Blu-ray player because we bought a new Xbox and I'd like to buy a remote control for my Xbox. Like not a remote control, like a, you know, like a TV remote for the Xbox. So part of this is going to go to that. I would also like to purchase some luggage to use on our trip. So it's kind of like it's going to the Disney trip, but it's not exactly going to be funded. If any of this does end up um, going into the fund, I will let you know. For now, I'm just kind of holding on to this money until I figure out um, what I want to do with it. I imagine some of it will for sure be used but until I figure it out, it's not being added to the official fund count. I did, though, also take advantage of my... Woo! I got kind of bright there. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I um, did take advantage of using my mother-in-law's Imperk account also and used $200, um, well, one ninety one ninety from my Disney fund to purchase another MasterCard and Visa gift card. So that is going to, we'll start talking about savings now, add $8.10 into the value of my fund. I also <clears throat> was offered, I have a newer Dodge minivan at 2013 and uh, Chrysler wants me to buy a Pacifica, but I, I don't want to <laughs> because I really love my van and I don't have a car payment anymore. So I don't want to pick one of those up, but um, it was for $50 if I test drove. So I needed an oil change after coming back from North Carolina a few weeks ago anyways. So while I was waiting for that, a nice gentleman took me out for a test drive and they're pretty nice vans, um, but, but I don't want one. So anyhow, I turned in the information that this said there was a code on here. I also had to get a dealer code and I got a $50, um, I chose Target e-gift card and I will be turning that in sometime for, um, you know, Disney card. I had another free Speedway drink and got a coffee for $1.75 I'm saving and I had 12 cents in interest in my Disney account. So this week I saved $59.97, almost $60. And that doesn't include the $20 I straight up put in the piggy bank because we'll count that all up some other time when it's full. So, a um, couple other things I wanted to show you guys. The Magical Disney Mail. I have been getting so many pin codes. Pin codes that I'm not going to use yet because I'm not going to Disney this year. But sign up for Disney stuff. Here's one pin code. Goodness gracious, two pin codes. And um, I got, for having the, I'm so sorry, goodness, the Chase Disney Visa, I got, um, they sent out a little Halloween advertisement with some promo codes for 15% off of a $50 purchase instead of the regular 10% off you would normally get for using your card. And I also got the Disney Rewards um, little quarterly guide. It talks about Halloween things that are coming on in the parks. Uh, it doesn't start talking about holiday stuff just yet, but there is a new card member pin. You know, they had um, Darth Vader earlier in the year and now they have the droids. Let me see if you can see it. There's the droid pin. So I might have to get that and give another one away. All right, guys. So 59 I'm so sorry. I try sitting here so that, you know, it has better lighting and here I'm just getting washed out. I'm so sorry. But anyways, $59.97 saved this week towards my Disney trips. And I 
hope that you guys gleaned some um, yard sale information. If you have any yard sale tips, please feel free to comment in the box below. If you're new here to Mickey Money Monday, I would love it if you would subscribe. There's a dollar bill, I think, in this corner in a corner. <laughs> Please click that and it will automatically show you, it will subscribe you. I hope that you guys are enjoying these tips and um, I guess until next week, I'll see you real soon.